Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Big Breeze channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create and publish a custom color theme for Visual Studio Code using simple tools and steps. So first of all, you need to have Node installed because we will use NPM Node Package Manager and that's very important to install the package that we want to install. I'm going to show you um, in a few moments. So uh, to check out if you have Node installed or not. Uh, so first of all, that's Node website. Okay, so you can go ahead here and download Node.js. That's the latest version 20.12.2. Uh, you go ahead and download that and once node installed on your machine you can go ahead here and check out in your terminal um, the node version that you have so you can type node dash dash version and you can see here that i have version 19.3.0 i don't have the latest one but you can go ahead and install that you can check out also the npm version you can do npm dash dash version and you can see that we have npm 9.2.0. I think you will have the higher version if you're going to download Node.js version 20, but that's not important. The most important thing is that we have it on our local machine. Next, we will need to install two very important packages using npm, yo and code generator. They are two different packages. So what you'll simply do is npm install or simply i, that's going to be the same thing, install, the yo and the generator code packages you can do this globally which means on your global file system and not only in your project next i want the first package which is yo and the next one is generator code generator hyphen code it's going to take some time to install both so i'm going to pause the video here and i'm going to get back when it's all done all right, so 1047 packages were installed or added in 30 seconds. Good, now don't forget that I'm inside my project here, which is called Create VS Code Theme. So inside your projects folder, you will have to type yo code to start creating a new VS Code extension. So let's go ahead and do that. So yo code. So the guys working at Yo, this is awesome design. Welcome to the Visual Studio Code extension generator. What type of extension do you want to create? So the Yo is not only related to VS Code theme, but you can create new extension in TypeScript, in JavaScript, new language support, new code snippets, um, you know, key map, extension pack, language pack, web extension, notebook, render. But we're not interested in that. We're actually interested in new color theme so you'll go ahead and hit enter on that next question is do you want to import or convert an existing text make color theme so we'll say no we want to start fresh that's what we want next what's the name of your extension we're going to say demo theme what's the identifier of your extension so that's going to be if you will leave it empty demo theme but i'm going to call it back hyphen dark something like that What's the description of your extension? This is a test visual studio code theme, uh, studio code dark theme by Backbrace. What's the name of your theme shown to the user? Again, it's going to be back dark, but with the B and D capitalized. You will hit enter. Now we need to select a base theme. Now I know all of you guys love the dark themes. I haven't actually met anyone who loves light themes. So we're going to create dark. And also you have the choice between the high contrast dark and the high contrast light. I love high contrast dark, by the way, but we're going to keep it at dark. Now you can initialize a Git repository and it's a very good way to keep track of your uh, changes in your code. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to do that. But this is highly recommended if you're taking creating your VS Code theme seriously. So I'm going simply to say N for stands for no and we'll hit enter. And now notice that it has created different files for us. So um, if I will get back here you will find that we have back dark. That's your VS Code theme project name. So if you will click on that, you will find that we have different files. So for instance, you have themes here. So that's the JSON one. So back dark color theme .json. Um, VS Code ignore. We're going to open all of them, but just 
um, letting you know what we have on our hands. And if we'll get back to our integrated terminal, let's get down a little bit. Your extension backdark has been created. Indeed, it has been. To start editing with Visual Studio Code, use the following command so we can do code backdark. Um, yeah, do you want to open a new folder with Visual Studio Code? And I recommend to do that because we want an isolated testing environment. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we have. So first of all, we have this back dark color theme, which was auto generated by the Yo code. We have VS code ignore. We have the change log. So all notable changes to the back dark extension will be documented in this file. That's okay. And of course, package.json. So we have the name, the display name. So we have here, the name is back dark, demo theme and the description, uh, exactly what we have written when uh, first created this project. The themes here you have, that's the path. So themes, back dark, color theme.json, this is um, the path. All right, um, and of course, categories, themes. So readme.markdown, you can go ahead and read that if you want, I will leave it to you. And VS Code Extension Quick Start. So this is sort of guideline on how to continue. So first of all, it tells you that this folder contains all the files necessary for your color theme extension. And then the color theme definition file itself, which is this one, back dark color theme. Now you can hit F5 to open a new window with your extension loaded. So let's go ahead directly and try to do that. If I will do F5, and there we go, this is our theme. And to prove you this, if you'll do Control KT, you'll find here that this is back dark. This is our theme that we have created together. Now you can go ahead and play around with the colors if you want. Um, but uh, yeah, I will not do this. I will leave this to you. And as extension development host, it has opened the BMI app to showcase the new theme. So that's the debug console. And as it's suggested here that we will need to open a new window with the extension loaded um, in a test environment. And you can see here that the debugging tools are open um, above. So open file preference colors theme and pick your color theme. That's what we have done and then open a file that has a language associated. Um, all right, so that's exactly what we have done automatically with the BMI application. So again, guys, this is our theme. We can change in the colors. If we want to change in the colors, let's say that I want to change in the background. So instead of this color, I will do it. Um, I will do black totally. Control S, let's get back. And you see that immediately the changes are effective. And if we'll do red, for instance, you can see it's immediately uh, changed. Let's just re reverse back to zero. That's hurting the eye. And you change the activity bar badge background. If you want, you have all of the settings that you need to change. You can make bold, you can make italic, you know, you can play that as you want. However, there is a way to go around that to do this manually. There is a website called themes.vscode.one where you have everything visually displayed in front of your eyes. You will need just to change the colors by your by a click of your mouse, basically. So let me go again to Google Chrome. It's already opened. All right. And let me show you this website, themes.vscode.one. All right. Awesome. So you can find here that these are the top rated VS Code themes created by other creators. That's that's awesome. Windows 98. That's really cool. Um, yeah, so all of that. This one I like. This one looks like uh, the one that I love, the clear Dawn Fos 4. Okay, so if you will click on create new theme, you can choose whether light or dark. Of course, we'll choose dark. Uh, we can create that theme. And this is a basic layout, basic template for you to change it. So if you will click on general, basically you can change anything you want. You have the general activity bar, sidebar, you know, all of the components of VS code. Um, you can play in all of the colors. So title bar, you can change that if you want. The title bar, active foreground, right? You can make it dark or uh, light or dark if you want, right? Um, but that's ugly. Let's make it at least, yeah, green. It's, it's awesome. All right, so you have here um, this, for example, we can make it also green to be, you know, consistent, right? Inputs, you can change in the inputs if you want. 
um, yeah, the format, we can make it green, for example. Right, input options. So you have here the option, we can change that to green as well. The tabs, you can change in the tabs, you can change in the terminal text if you want. So uh, you have all of the colors. So basically you can play in your VS Code theme as you want. Once you're happy with that, you can click on save theme. We can log in using GitHub for instance. So I'm going to do that. You need to authorize uh, VS Code to uh, use your GitHub. So we can say back demo, right? Save username. And that's it basically guys. So you have here your account, which is back demo. You click on that, right? You can log out, you can delete account and data. You don't want to do that. So if you will click on your themes here, you can find here. Uh, okay, so it's still generating images for this theme. It will take um, a little bit of time, but you can go ahead and download this in a JSON format. Once that downloaded, you can open it in your VS Code theme. And again, you can change here whatever you want. So that's it, guys. This is how you can create your VS Code theme very easily using Yo and Code Generator. Um, go ahead again and open your extensions, your VS Code uh, color theme palette, and you will find that we have our back dark that we have created or the one that you want to create for yourself. Um, yeah, that was very easy thanks to you and Code Generator. Of course, themes.vscode.one, this made things simpler and easier. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you value my content, please show your support. You can join the Patreon community. You can join the membership section. You can buy me a coffee or simply you can subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button, share and comment on this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Till then, stay safe and be well. See you later, guys.